Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about the 2013 landslide at Bingham Canyon. Now this is new history to me, but extremely interesting. So stay tuned. 2013 Mayfay Landslide. April 10th, 2013 occurred the largest non-volcanic landslide in history. 100 million tons of rock slid down the mountainside, destroying everything in its path, burying 95% of the bottom of the pit. Now this was at Bingham Canyon Mine, Kennecott, Rio Tinto in Utah, making it the biggest mine landslide ever to happen. The event took place in two parts. The first was at 9.30 p.m., the second approximately 11 o'clock p.m. on the evening of the 10th of April. Bingham Canyon Mine was 107 years old at the time, starting open cut mining in 1906 and continued digging away at around the clock for 107 years, making it the largest man-made excavation on Earth, large enough to be seen from space. The vine is over two and a half miles wide and three quarters of a mile deep. The miracle was that no one was injured. Everyone was safe. This was due to the extensive monitoring systems at the mine. They have a nine point protection program, radars and prison networks, GPS, and trained eyes everywhere to name a few. The system first noticed activity as early as November 2012. By February 2013, they knew it would fail. March, they anticipated it would be large, predicting 100 million tons, and they expected it would happen in April. The morning of April 10th, the mine was evacuated at 9 o'clock. The name Main Fay comes from the bed it was sitting on, or the fault. Now we have many pictures of what we've been showing of the, the slide that day. There was extensive damage. Three shovels were lost. Now these are big shovels. These are P&H 4100 series XPC shovels. Also 13 haul trucks were destroyed, eight beyond repair, plus other equipment and parts that was in the bottom of the pit. Now look at some of these pictures of these trucks. Now these are large trucks and they look like they were just tossed around like they were toys. Like maybe Tonka trucks were down there. And even the shovel damage was extensive. Also lost was the Bingham shop. Now we have quite a few photos of this Bingham shop. You can see it's just hanging off the edge here. We have some beautiful pictures of this. If you can call a disaster beautiful. This is how the Bingham shop looked before the slide. Now these pictures were taken in May 2012, a year before the slide. And then some other pictures, even earlier in that, around the 2000s. Luckily, the in-pit crusher and conveyor system that went through the old 5490 train tunnel was not affected. Because of this, they were able to be back to ore production in two and a half days. Now that's impressive. The speed they recovered from this slide is really noteworthy. By December 2013, they had reestablished the main 10% haw road and they had mitigated the dangerous areas around the slide. How the slide acted was a big surprise to them. It didn't move down the mountainside like a typical rock slide. 
moving slow, but it was like an avalanche moving very quickly and all at once. Bingham Canyon Mine has had many slides over the years, but nothing like this one. Thanks to Kelly Gauze and a few other employees, we have some great pictures showing the damaged trucks after digging some of them out. So that's the main face slide 2013.